Hey everybody, it's Becky. I'm back today to announce a new series I'm going to have on my channel starting next Wednesday, July 22nd. And it's going to run for four weeks. I believe that makes it August 12th. Every Wednesday there will be a video. And the topic of this series is back to homeschool. And it just seemed like a good idea because I love back to school time. It's the time of year when all the stores are having their sales. And, you know, there's a hubbub of orientation and meeting teachers and stuff like that. But if you homeschool, there really isn't all that excitement and kind of build up to a new school year. So I really wanted to do something for homeschoolers that you can kind of have a video of a different topic every week leading up to school. Maybe give you some ideas and some inspiration, motivation, things like that. So that we're not left out of the back to school loop. If you don't know the backstory, my oldest daughter was actually in public school up until about the middle of fourth grade. And we took her out of public school and we began homeschooling her. And my little one will, as far as I know, you know, she'll never be in public school. We're going to start from kindergarten, and we've already done some preschool stuff. And I don't know what the future holds as far as how long we're going to homeschool. You know, we're always open to private school. We're always open to private tutoring. Um, you know, just it, maybe some e-schools in the future if our state ever has, you know, a good e-school program. So we're open to all those things. So I don't know how long we're going to homeschool, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We take it day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. Uh, but I know coming forward with the 2015-2016 school year, I will have a kindergartner and a sixth grader. And the kindergartner was funny because with the, the laws of our state, we were allowed to, if she were to go to public school, she would be able to go either this fall because she's five, she turned five in January, or she'd be allowed to wait until next fall of 2016 because she'll be six. You're allowed to go either five or six. And so originally I had planned on uh, waiting till she was six to start really like tip like really officially homeschooling her and recording her hours and reporting that to the state and all that. But I just decided to go ahead and move forward with that just because I didn't want her to look behind when she graduates if she was 19 instead of 18 or something like that. So I plus she's really ready. She's really ready for a more structured day. She really needs more work to keep her busy. So anyway, I've been scrambling trying to get together what I want to do for her. Um, we have some stuff left over from kind of preschool, kind of somewhat kindergarten work, but a lot of it's like preschool work, so like we're learning all of her letters and sounds. She's got all that stuff down really well, but I'm just finishing up some books that I want to get rid of. and So we're going to be um, doing a lot with her, focusing really, really diligently on reading, writing, and math. That To me, that's the most important thing. That's the foundation of your education. And um, it's kind of scary to me because to teach somebody to read is a big deal because if they don't know how to read or read well, then that puts them at a disadvantage for the rest of their life. So it's very scary to have to do that. My oldest daughter, you know, she was in public school for kindergarten. So that was somebody else's responsibility and, and you know, in a way, I mean, I would obviously would have said something if I noticed her not making progress, but she did. She learned to read in like seriously four or five months. It was awesome. And by the time my youngest was born, my oldest was, I think, just was getting ready to turn six. And she was reading her stories when she was, like, my, my, she was reading my youngest stories when she was a baby. So, I mean, it was amazing. Between August of the year she started and January of that next year, she was already reading, you know, chap, like, small chapter books to my, to my youngest. So, it was really cute and exciting, but it's a very nerve-wracking process. So, that's really going to be our foundation and our core of our curriculum is really math, phonics, reading, and writing. So in addition to that, I have some other things that we're going to do, um, some things on a daily basis, some things on a weekly basis, and some things we'll still do together. I really want to keep working on the things that we've done together as my kindergartner and my sixth grader will do with me. And then also some things that, you know, um, adding more things to, to the, what we're doing together possibly. So I know it's a little bit more work for me to make a curriculum or a subject or a topic go for a five-year-old and an 11-year-old, but I know it can be done. I think it's a really good idea to do that. It gives them more time together, and in, in a way, it makes things easier for me. The planning takes more time, I think, but it, in general, doing things for them together, um, it's just more of a bonding experience, uh, and uh, I think they learn well together. My oldest kind of helps my youngest along, and my youngest looks up to my oldest, so she kind of, you know, asks her questions and stuff like that. So, Planning on a lot of that. I'm just having a good time shopping a lot of the back to school sales, even though we don't have like a supply list like a public school child would, which I do kind of miss because I know that was the big deal when my brother and I were in school. My mom and I, my mom would take my brother and I out like one day before school and we would have breakfast and we'd go shopping, get everything on our list, and it was so fun. And I love pencils and new crayons and the smell of the crayons and a paint set and a new school box back when school boxes were cool. 
I had like a My Little Pony school box. I had, I mean, I don't even know what. We had all kinds of great, cute school boxes. And now, for the most part, it's like the little boring, clear colored thing. You know, and I just, I don't know what happened to that. But, and we were allowed to get whatever folders we wanted. That was like the best part of school was picking out whatever cool folder you wanted, like Transformers or, you know, Care Bears or whatever. And now, a lot of the teachers we had experiences with, you weren't allowed to have a cool folder. You had to get blue, purple, green, yellow, and that's boring. But aside from that, I am still participating in some of the sales. I've got a lot of really, like, we go through liquid glue like crazy, so any kind of glue stick and liquid glue, I've got enough markers now to start my own store, so I don't need any more markers, but mechanical pencils, lead, notebook paper, um, things like that. So I am still having a good time shopping for those things, but I wanted to do something that's just for us, that homeschool, and, um, you know, to kind of get us amped up for the beginning of a new school year as well. And even if you're a teacher, maybe some of these videos might be helpful for you guys too, or a parent that's just not homeschooling traditionally, but you want to do some things with your child at home in, the, in regard to learning and things like that. Any of, the, any of those scenarios I think would fit with these different videos that are coming up. So like I said, there are four every Wednesday until August 12th, starting on the 22nd of July, which is next Wednesday. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. And sorry this was kind of rambling all over the place, but I'm just, nobody's home right now, so it's really awesome to be able to talk as loud as I want and not have to worry about anybody hearing me talking or waking up the kids, so it's pretty awesome. So make sure you're subscribed. I'm really excited about this series. I've spent a lot of time like thinking about it and planning it and filming them, so I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching. Bye.